Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, how, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. Great. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Okay, perfect. It's nice to have you here. How was your day? Uh, I, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I love Edgar that he's very positive. Every day is so good for you. I love yeah. that. That's pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, even, I mean, that's that's like the good thing, to see the, the good things, even in bad days. But it's so nice. It's fantastic. Well, welcome to another class. Today, I will have the chance to actually share a little bit. Let's see. We have a picture in the chat. What does it say? Let's see. Veamos. This is a recurring meeting. No, we are here. We are here waiting for you. Okay. There you go. Okay. So today we are going to work a little bit on food. We are going to talk a little bit about food procedures. We are going to talk about a uh, the Good words that you partners. use. Hello, Jesus. Good Welcome. Teacher. Welcome. We're going to talk about the different words that you use to make um, a sequence. And we're going to study a little bit of a food vocabulary as well. I got a little bit for you. And okay. you will see. So today we're going to be cooking. I hope you had dinner already. Yes, Edgar? Tu micrófono está apagado. Your microphone is off. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> we are, I, we just are... Say, I just huh? want to say I'm a starved. If you are ah. going to talk about food. <laughs> no, you, you better go and get a fruit or something for you All to right. eat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hungry, teacher. Yeah, that's that, that's why I ask you. Did you have dinner already? Because if not, you are going to be very hungry. You will be like, I know, You're teacher. Right. Come on, <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> Don't be cruel, teacher. <laughs> Don't be bad. You say like you are so mean, teacher. No, okay. So, but yes, we are going to be working a little bit on food vocabulary and food procedures mostly. And um, but that is going to be in a in a couple of minutes. Okay. So let me see, let me just open my book, right? Yesterday we were talking about wishes and today we are going to talk about a little bit about food and the different, uh, the differences that we have related to food in the different countries. It is a very, a very curious thing when you go to another country and they offer you food that you don't normally eat and you say like, oh, what's that for breakfast really <laughs> or for lunch and, and you don't really know how to act I mean because it's like nothing new for you it's something new for you and it's nothing like normal one example I went to Guatemala one day that it's a very close country here to El Salvador and uh, for breakfast they gave me grilled meat me dieron carne asada for breakfast and I was like what <laughs> and they say like uh, is it for lunch? And he said, like, no, 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 that's the breakfast. And I said, okay, thank you very much. I said, <laughs> they gave me grilled meat for breakfast. And that was normal for them and tortillas and, and beans, right? It was like beans, grilled meat, eggs, and tortillas. And I was like, okay, what a complete breakfast. I said. So these there are some of the, the cultural differences that we might have in different countries, right? Okay, Elgar, did you have another question? No, okay. no more. That's because your hand was still up. Tenía su manita todavía levantada. Good. So no. we're going to we're going to talk about that. So before everything, I am going to share my screen with you. And we're going to go over a little bit of food vocabulary. This is a huge thing. It's a huge list, but I am going to share it with you. Don't worry if you don't copy it. I will send you the document in the chat so you can have it, okay? Ahí le voy a enviar el documento ya al chat. Don't worry. Okay, so for you not to start copying everything, okay? 
No me diga, teacher, no he copiado todavía. Take it easy. No. Okay. So let's go over this one. I have here a very huge list of vocabulary. And let me show it to you. Here. And I think it's here. Okay. This is about food. And we have different categories. Ever? Yes? What is your question? Uh, I can't find the document, teacher. No, no, no. I will use it right now and then I will send it to you. Don't worry. Okay. Here we have a lot of different uh, vocabulary related to fruits. For example, we have peaches, quinces, nectarines, cherries, apricot, plums, figs, oranges, tangerines, lemon, a golden apple, mango, lychee, mamey, and tamarind. Do you know all the meanings of the fruits that I am showing you here? Or you say, teacher, what's the meaning of? Quinces, it's not quince, okay? Quinces. Do you know what's Quinces? the meaning of? What's the meaning peaches? Peaches. Yes. Peach, peach is very similar to apricot. Peaches are melocotones. Mm. Apricots are duranos. Uh -huh. What is the difference, teacher? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know the difference between I because I don't really <laughs> like them. Okay, I don't really like them, but uh, I think it's the flavor. It's, it's something related to the flavor and okay. the size. Because, uh, but that's a good question. I will investigate the difference. What is the difference between peaches and apricots? I will do it right now. Quinces. Do you know what quinces are? Quinces? Yep. Nances? No, not really. Have you ever seen membrillos? No. Oh. No? Never? But no, have you ever it. have you no. ever gone to these traditional celebrations of or the lotteries? Okay, just give me one second. I need to stop something. Wait. Uh, my internet is very bad right now. Okay, I think I am going right now. Okay, can you listen to me? Yes or no? Hi, I am back. <laughs> okay, I think my internet was very bad, sorry. I am back, can you listen to me? Hello? Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, because my, my internet connection was very bad. I don't really know why. And I don't have anything connected now. Far from. I will continue here. Let me just stop this one. And let me find the meaning because I cannot see. We are back. <laughs> Como marañón japonés. Hi. I think sorry. It's sorry, sorry, sorry. I am back. Like an apple. Chan -chan -chan. Hello, teacher. Hi. Sorry. My dear internet was very bad. But I am here. Thank you. I am. Uh, yes. Membrillo is similar to uh, marañón japonés. It is not. It is well, it is very similar, but it, it is not the same because membrillos are like kind of a different fruit, membrillero, but that's I think that's not the one that we have in El Salvador. I am going to look for one picture of it and I will send it to you. Okay. Le voy a buscar la foto y se la voy a enviar for you to have okay. it. And membrillo is the one that they use for uh, for them to make candies. I don't know if you have seen this uh, traditional candy that is. Yep. No sé si han visto un, un, un dulce que es bien tradicional que lo venden con una paletita en, los, en las fiestas de pueblo. Que es rojito, que es como jalea. Have you seen it? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I will send you another picture of that one as well, right? Because. <laughs> 
because that is that is membrillo. Well, I will I will show it to you in a moment. Well, the Man next setting. Manzanilla. Manzanilla. Yeah, exactly like that. They call it manzanilla as well. So that is. Oh, manzanilla. Yes, they call it manzanilla as well. Yeah, manzanilla. Yes. Quinces. The quinces. Yes, the quinces. Yeah, they, it is very delicious in there. The quinces, right? And it is very, very delicious. The next one that we have are uh, cherries. Cherries, you know what, what it is, right? Cerezas. Cherries. Yeah. The next one that we have here is apricots. Apricots that are duraznos. Mm -hmm. And the next one that we have here is plums. Plums are ciruelas. Plums, figs. Do you know what's the meaning of figs? Figs are no. egos. 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 Yes, figs are egos. We don't have uh, figs in, in El Salvador, right? Yes, we do. We have figs in El Salvador. We have it, yes. You can find it in the market and also in the supermarket. But you have it. We have figs. Okay. Yes, and also, uh, you, you well, in the supermarket, you can find them. It's very common. The next one that we have here is, well, oranges. You know what oranges are? Oranges, yeah. Oranges, uh, also tangerines. Yes. Tangerines are mandarinas. Mandarinas. Lemon, you know what lemon is, right? The lemon. And the golden apple are the yellow apples, right? The yellow apples and the next one that we have mango mango you know what mangoes are right <laughs> let's see yeah mango. mangoes right they are very famous here leeches you know what leeches are right the leeches and also the mame is the same and the tamarind is also mm -hmm. the same right good so those are the ones that we have for the first category in the second category that we have it's apple well, the apple, it's like the, the normal ones, right? The normal apples. Mm -hmm. The next one that we have, it's avocado. Avocado, mm -hmm. it's also considered a fruit, right? Avocado is considered a fruit as well, del aguacate. Avocado. Yeah, avocado, the avocado. It's also considered a fruit. The next one that we have avocado. here, the avocado. Yes, Edgar? Tell me. Have you drink a... Uh... Avocado shake? No, I haven't. Like a smoothie? Really? That is I, so delicious. Yeah, I, you, you can mix with ice, milk, and, and sugar. Wow. Well, I haven't, yeah, it, I haven't it's tried it. so delicious. I haven't. It might be because yeah. avocado doesn't have that much flavor. And I mean, because it's it's very neutral. The flavor is very neutral, but I, I guess that it might be very, very delicious. What about the, well, the bananas are, yes, sorry, I will try it, believe me. The bananas, bananas are bananas, right? There is no much difference there. The blueberry and the blackberry, the blueberry and the blackberry are a plus. Yes. How do you call this these things in in Spanish? How do you call that in Spanish, people? I don't remember. The son como qué como salsa digo salsa mora salsa moras right mora azul the moras right the moras right moras and salsa moras. Okay, let me share the screen again. Wait, wait, wait. I will share my screen again because I cannot see any video right now. Let's go here. Uh, the carrot, it's also considered a fruit, even when it is a vegetable, right? Zanahoria. And as well as the avocado, the, mm -hmm. the grape, sorry, the yeah. carrot can be used for milkshakes, right? The carrot. The wave is guayaba. You have it there, the wave. Grapes, uvas, right? Yes. The uvas, kiwi is kiwi, right? It doesn't change. Mm. Kiwi. Mm -hmm. Lime, lime is a lima. It's not lemon, but it's lima. Mm. Cantaloupe and melon are the same thing, 
right? Cantaloupe and melon, it's the same thing. It's melon, right? Cantaloupe yeah. and melon, yes. One is green and one is yellow. One is green and one is yellow. Very good job. The cantaloupe is green and the melon is yellow. We have papaya is the same. Papaya, it's papaya, right? And then we have the pear that it's the, the, the green ones, right? That are very delicious, that are greens and yellow ones and oranges. We have different types of pear. Pineapple, the pineapple, it's a piña, right? I don't know, but I, I like it a lot, right? A strawberry is not a strong berry, okay? Be careful with that. It's not a strong berry, it's a strawberry, strawberry. Tomato, right? Tomato, it's also considered a fruit, even when many people say that it is a vegetable, right? Tomato. The next one that we have here is uh, the cashew. Cash. Cashew or the cashew seed. Cash. Okay, cashew is the fruit, que es el marañón, cashew. And cashew seed, <laughs> it's only the, the top part. Es solo la semilla de marañón, right? Cashew seed. Sí. La semilla de marañón. That's very delicious. Mm -hmm. What about the mum beans? Do you know what's the meaning of mum beans? No. Jocotes. The mum beans are very delicious, right? Mm -hmm. I, that's my favorite fruit in this, the mum beans. The watermelon, sandia, right? Coconut. Yes. Coconut, that's cocoa. Cocoa. Oh. cocoa. And then we have grapefruit. Mm -hmm right? There you have. All the ones that I have just mentioned, grapefruit is a, let me see, what is the, what is the meaning of this thing? Okay, I, it has the name in Spanish that I don't really remember. Let me just investigate it right now. And here, the grapefruit is, I will give it to you right now, toronja. Grapefruit is toronja. Okay, let me just uh, do something right now here. And I am going to create a little groups. And in these little groups, I need you to talk about what is your favorite fruit and what is one fruit that you don't like or that you hate. Okay, quick discussion, like one minute. What is your favorite fruit and what is one fruit that you hate? Let's discuss. All right. Okay, you will receive my invitation to go to the groups. The fruit that you like and the fruit that you hate. Discuss with your friends in a very, very quick way. Thank you, accept my invitation. One fruit that you like and one fruit that you hate. Thank you, Samuel, Jose Fernando, thank you. Accept my invitation, Mr. Fernando, thank you. Excellent. So let's go to the first group. Then you can combine the bananas with every other fruit. Yes, it's true. In my case, my favorite fruit is uh, mango. Um, I don't have any fruit that don't like me. I love all kinds of fruits. Okay. A question, teacher. Yep. And in English, are different for a mango amarillo or el mango mechudo? <laughs> no, and, no, there, there is no difference. There is no difference. You say mango is mango. It doesn't change, right? Mango is mango and it doesn't have a difference in English, right? Great. Green mango can be the difference, green mango and normal mango. That, that can be the only difference, right? Good, 
continue discussing, I will go and check the other ones, okay? Continue discussing. Like Cibre. Hello, hello. Yes. Cibre kind of fruit. Well, I like I like banana, I like orange. Um, uh, I want to remember another class, uh, another class of fruit. Uh, apple. Okay. Apple. The Nana, um, I like, um, I like, I like almost, uh, fruit. almost all okay. the fruits, right? You like, uh -huh. almost all the fruits, especially if they are a uh, very, very sweet. Okay, all the ones that are sweet. <laughs> that is really delicious, right? Most of the fruits okay. are very delicious. Okay, which one is... Okay. Uh-huh, go ahead. Yes. Yes, Edgar? If they have eaten um, grilled pineapple. Oh, yes, that's very delicious. I love to do that when I grill that's meat. Delicious. Yes, when I grill meat, yeah. I love to do it. What, what meat or chicken? Yes, with meat yeah. or chicken. That's very good. Mostly, it's, a, it's a good flavor. Yes, yeah. mostly with meat, it's it's good. But you have to be very careful because it can do your meat too soft. Okay, puede ponerte la carne demasiado eh, blanda, <laughs> and it can just go in pieces yeah. like this. Teacher, look. Yes. I, I used to you eat know what real, it is? real pineapple. That's a that's a hikama, right? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you... I like I like hikama, uh, grill hikama. Grill? Uh, really? I have never tried it, that one. It, it really, really it's very delicious, teacher. I haven't I haven't tried that one. That is something that I haven't I haven't tasted. So that's that's new for me, and I will have it on my checklist. Grill. Teacher, yes? uh, grill hikama is is less delicious than pineapple grill. Oh really? It's uh -huh. delicious too. I imagine that it might be delicious. I don't really like hikama, mm -hmm. the normal hikama. I don't really like it, but. Uh, I have to try it grill. Maybe it's going to be different. Okay. okay, good. I will check on the next group. My dear students, I will come back in a second, okay? I come back in a moment. There we go. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> so wh why did you stop? <laughs> come on, I I just come and you stop the, talking. I I okay as soon I as, as I, I come speaking the the general uh, favorite favorite fruit. Aha! Uh -huh. What is your what is your favorite fruit? That's um, lemon with lemon. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's new for me. Okay, good. It's good. It's very delicious. And your teacher, what is, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is the watermelon. I love the watermelon. Yes. Ah, it's delicious. Yeah, but watermelon is my favorite fruit mm -hmm. from all times. I have always liked it. And I, I yes. really love it. I really, really love watermelon. It's very delicious. And I consider, okay. yes, it's very yes, fresh. It's, it's very fresh and delicious. I, I love it. So uh, that's my favorite. Okay. And let's see. What is one fruit that you yes. don't like? I was, I was talking with your friends and I was telling them that I hate uh, jicama. I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like it. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I don't I don't really like it. And how do you say sapote? Sapote. I think sapote is the same. It doesn't change. Let me look for it. In let me look for it. Just give me one second and to see in my case I, I don't like sapote. Oh really? I like sapote. Only it's a pot. Yeah. Well, Only, in English. Uh, uh, uh huh. And the liquid. How do you say? In shake. Shake. In shake. shake. Exactly. In shake. Only, only in shake. Exactly. Only in shake. You like in shake. Uh huh. Shake. Only in shake. How do you say what? Nispero. Nispero, okay, sapodilla. <laughs> it, it's a sapote, it's sapodilla. I didn't know that one, but that was new for me. Sapodilla, nispero in English. Okay, you, medlar, they say it's medlar. It's the, the medlar. Let's see, medlar, yes, medlar is uh, nispero. Medlar. Medlar. Nispero. 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 Okay, so that's the that's the translation. Medlar. medlar. I will send it in the chat here for you. It's medlar. Medlar. M-E-D-L-A-R. Yes, medlar. So that is nispero. Let's go I back. Hate medlar too. <laughs> I like it. It is not my favorite. It is not my favorite, but I like it, right? I like it. Let's see. I'm hungry. <laughs> now hungry. you're getting hungry. Hungry. <laughs> okay, I will go to the next room right now. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, teacher. How are you? I don't know. Hi, teacher. I don't know, my dear uh, students. Can you see? Can you see my camera? Because I cannot see myself. No, teacher, we can't. Well, yeah. I can't. No, I cannot. I cannot see it either. I mean, it is just black. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But uh, I'm fighting with this. Okay. Well, tell me about your favorite fruits. Um, and green melon. The green melon. What a delicious thing. Yeah. What about and the rest? I you you hate what? Carbolas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one fruit. I don't fruit. know how to say that in English. Carambolas. I don't really know. I think it's a star fruit. Yeah. Um, I, I sent a picture in WhatsApp. Uh-huh. Uh, Let me it, see. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. Okay, let me find it. Let me find it. I think it's Karen's. Oh, they are looking for help. Let I, I will come back. <laughs> Hello, yes. Tell me. Hi. Someone told me that you need help. Alguien me dijo, necesito. Yes, can I say Yes, can I say <laughs> no worry. Okay, let's go back to the main room. We're going to go back to the main room. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let me just stop here. Okay. I will, okay, I will close the rooms. Okay, we are we are back. We are back. Thank you very much. I still cannot see my camera. I don't know what's going on with this. Well, I will keep it like that. So, my dear students, let's continue working on what we were doing here. And we were working with the fruits. So, all of you were talking about the different fruits that you like, the fruits that you don't like, and the ones that you enjoy and the ones that you don't enjoy at all. Okay, so 
We found there the carambola, right? What was the carambola in English? I think it is a star fruit. That's the meaning of that. But I will continue looking for that. Marañón. Cashew. It's cashew. Marañón japonés. Yeah, that's a. Uh, well, the, the the cashew and the Japanese cashew, it's the same thing, right? We have the two the two forms. The Japanese cashew, that it's the pink one, and the normal cashew, that it's the one that we have in El Salvador, right? The the normal yellow cashew. Cashew, right? Like when you sneeze. Bless you, you say. For the vegetables, we have tomatoes, potatoes, watercress. Do you know what's the meaning of watercress? Yeah. What, no. is the, what is the meaning of that? Berros. Berros, right? Exactly like that. Berros, right? Those are, uh, that's watercress, berros. The next one, we have mushroom, carrot, lettuce, yes. cabbage. Yes. Cabbage is repollo, right? Yes. Onion. Onion is cebolla. Yes. And the next one, we have garlic, that is yes. ajo. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin is calabaza. Mm. The next one is chili. What is chili? I don't chili. know. Chili. Chili. chili, exactly like that. It's like a, a, como chile. Los chile, pero chile picante, right? Chili is like the hot one. Hot, hot the pepper. hot pepper, right? Green pepper and red pepper are the ones that are normal, but they are not spicy. So, son chiles, pero no son picantes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. the next one we have, let's continue here. We have in the next one, let me just oh, wait, move it a little bit here. We have broccoli. Broccoli, it's broccoli, right? You know it, right? Mm -hmm. The next one that we have here is uh, spinach. That is yeah. spinaca. And the next one is squash. That is, is pipián. Pipián, right? Squash. Asparagus, it's yes. son los esparragos, right? It's the same. Peas, guisantes, or, or, or like the ejotes. That, that you, oh. Yeah, peas are like, yes. uh -huh. like ejotes. Beans, frijoles, right? Eggplant. Berenjena. Berenjena, exactly Berenjena. like that. The next one is beet. What is the meaning of beet? Remolacha. Remolacha, yeah. Remolacha. The next one, cucumber. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Cucumber, it's uh, vino. Radish. Radish is uh, rabano. Celery. Mm -hmm. Celery is apio. Celery. Apio. Parsley is uh, perejil. Perejil, yeah. There you have. Cilantro is cilantro, right? It's the same. It's the same thing. And the next one about the fast food. Fast food is all this type of food that you can buy in restaurants for you to take home, right? It's uh, all this uh, comida rápida, right? The junk food. We have hamburgers, sandwiches, hot dogs, pizza, french fries, tacos, nachos, burritos, pancakes. <laughs> all these ones are the ones that you know, right? You know all of this. So I don't have to tell you about it because you know it. About the snacks. The snacks are the ones that you can eat between meals, right? Are the ones that you can eat between uh, breakfast and lunch, between lunch and dinner, right? Son esos eh, pecaditos ahí que nos comemos entre comidas. You have donuts, cake, milkshake, tea, coffee, sweet bread. That's the worst enemy of Salvadorians. Sweet mm -hmm. bread, el pan, pan dulce. dulce. Yeah. Delicious with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Edgar. A, a snack is meriendas. Meriendas, right? right? Mm -hmm. Meriendas. Okay. <laughs> okay, sweet bread. Es más fácil salir de una relación tóxica que el pan dulce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, 
So you have the sweet <laughs> bread. It's true, it's true. The next one that we have here are lollipop and popsicle. Yeah. What, what is the meaning of lollipop? Lollipop are all these type of bombones, right? Dulce. Lollipop is bonbon. Bombones, right? And popsicle are paletas heladas. All the ones that you can buy in la nevería, in all these places, right? Those are popsicles. Todas las paletas de sorbete o heladas. Ice oh. cream, ice cream is ice cream, right? For sure. Yeah. Helado. Sorbete, le decimos nosotros. It's ice cream. The next one, uh, fruit snow. Fruit snow are the uh, yeah. nevadas. Minutas. Nevadas, minutas. <laughs> minutas. Soda. Chocolate, soda is another one that you can go out of a toxic relationship, but not from Coca-Cola. Soda, chocolate, yogurt, chips. Chips are all the different types of churritos and things in general, right? Gelatin, gelatin, you know what gelatin is. Nuts, son semillas. Nueces. Nueces, exactly. Candies, all in general. Popcorn, palomitas de maíz, and cookies right there you also have meat and proteins about the meat and proteins like carne y las proteínas we have the beans the fish the chicken eggs uh, beef that it's carne de res right beef bacon tocino ribs costillas jam jamón and sausages that are salchichas about the fats oils and sugars you have honey, cream, milk, butter, mantequilla, right? Oil, aceites, all the candies and cheese. Those are included in the fats, oils, and sugars. The next one that we have are the grains. What are the types of food that are included in the grains? The rice, pasta, rice. noodles. Oh, noodles. Noodles are fideos, right? Crackers, yeah. galletas saladas, bread, in cereal, el yeah. pan y los cereales. Yes, ever. What is the difference between pasta and noodles? Okay, pasta is the normal pasta that you use for spaghettis, right? And the noodles are fideos. They are very thin. Son delgaditos. Oh, Son okay. más delgaditos, yeah. right? The noodles are los fideitos. And pasta are the all these types of pasta. It can be coditos. It can be uh, plumas. It can be macarrones. It can be whatever type of pasta in general and this is the one that I wanted to to uh, specify today are the food procedures the different procedures that you use when cooking and what are those right the different procedures that you use for cooking you use cut cut that is cortar right cortar en pedazos peel pelar clean what is the meaning of clean Limpiar. limpiar, limpiar, limpiar o lavar, right? That it's to clean. The next one, wash. Wash. Lavar. Okay. Clean lavar. es limpiar and wash is lavar. lavar. The next one is mix. Mix. What is the meaning of mix? Mixtura. Mezclar. Mezclar, Mezclar o revolver, right? Mezclar o revolver. The next one, you have a slice. A slice, slice is cortar en cortar. Cor cortar en in tiras yes. or in rebanada, depending what you are cutting, right? The next one, you have buy. It's to, when you go shopping, comprar. right? Comprar. 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 Comprar, excellent. The next one that you have here is okay. um, select. Select means uh, when you choose, right? When you select. choose what you are going to buy, exactly, right? Select. Mm -hmm. Bake, what is the meaning of bake? Ornear. Hornear, right? When you uh, bake something, you put it in the oven and you uh, cook it, right? Bake is hornear. The next one that you have here is boil. What is the meaning of boil? Hervir. Hervir, very good, right? You have hervir. The next one that you have there is prepare. What does it mean? Preparar. Preparar, Preparar right? Uh, prepare. Preparar. Fry. Freír. Freír. And toast, tostar. Tostar. tostar, very good job, right? Fry and toast. Mash, what is the meaning of mash? Triturar, machacar. machacar, right? When you do, for example, 
the puree, right? When you do uh, the potato, uh, when you mash the potato to the mash. Chop, mm -hmm. chop is cortar en pedazos pequeñitos. Cortar, cortar okay. en pedacitos pequeñitos. So that is the meaning of chop. What about a steer? A steer is batir. Mm -hmm. a steer. The next one that we have here, let me just check it here, sorry. I am going to go back here. Ah, great, great is rayar, enrayador, right? Great. Steam is al vapor. Al vapor. Uh, the next one, broil. What is the meaning broil. of broil? Is so No, steam, steam is al vapor uh -huh. or hervir. Broil uh -huh. is sofreir. Okay. So, Freyr, and grill, a la parrilla, right? La parrilla. There you have grill. And about the last category that I have here, it is called the seafood. The seafood is all the food that comes from the ocean, right? All the food that comes from the ocean. That is the seafood. And here I have a couple of examples. Anchovy are anchoas, right? Crab is Cangrejo. cangrejo. The next one that we have there is lobster. Lobster is langosta. The next one is octopus. Octopus, that is pulpo. Oyster. The next one that we have is oyster. Ostras. Oyster, ostras, exactly like that. And here we have fish, that is pescado. pescado. Shelves, conchas. Yes. And uh, the next one is snail, caracoles, Caracol. mm -hmm. squid, it's calamar, and shrimps that are camarones. camarones. Camarón. Exactly yeah. like that. So there you have, it was a lot of vocabulary, but it is really good. I wanted to go over the topic about food, but I didn't want just to do it like that. I wanted to make a short review of this. Okay, so... I hope that you have learned different vocabulary about the different types of food that we have. So I am going to send the document to you in a couple of minutes. I am going to open my book so we can go over the topic of the day. I have never heard of that. That is the name of unit number four. I have never heard of that. And here we have four different dishes. Where are the dishes from? Where are the dishes from? Can you can you see Brazil, my screen? Yes. Uh -huh. Thailand, Brazil, Thailand, China, China, China Latin, America. America. Latin America. Okay. And what is the uh, the dish from Brazil? It's called mm. feijoada. 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 What is feijoada? Feijoada. It's a, a traditional dish made of black beans, garlic, beans, beans, and garlic. Okay. Okay. It says feijoada is a traditional dish made of black beans, garlic, spices, and pork. So it is like Sope frijol. <laughs> here in El Salvador, we, we put everything. Means. Exactly, right? You put meat, you put cream, you put egg, you put everything yes. oh, on the soup. Yeah, we put a little bit of everything in, in the cheese. Rice, the, too. Yeah, rice and avocado, right? Avocado. We put avocado yeah. there. I don't know how we survive, but <laughs> we put many things. And chili. And chili. And in some cases, people put curtido in it. <laughs> so, that's a huge bomb. Oh, my God. In Thailand, <laughs> in Thailand, it's called mi krav. It is crispy fried noodles with shrimp and chicken. Crispy fried noodles with shrimp and chicken. So this is a little bit more normal, right? noodles with shrimp and chicken what like about chow yeah it's very similar right yeah but these are fried noodles in este caso los eh, los fideos van fritos it is not cooked like in the chow mein. the wonton soup the wonton soup, soup is from china and what is the wonton soup can you help me to read it 
chicken soup chicken with, soup pork, with pork, pork fillet, dumplings. dumplings. Okay, chicken soup. Don't say soap, right? Soap is jabón. Chicken soup with pork filled dumplings. Pork filled dumplings son los, bueno, ya han visto los guantanevea. That they have this little meat inside and it's like a little, it's like a, the shape of a cookie. <laughs> and then they are very crunchy and they are very delicious. Those are the wonton soup. And the last one in Latin America, what do we have? Ceviche. Ceviche. What is that? So this is raw seafood. What is the meaning of raw? Crudo. Crudo, right? It's crudo. Raw seafood. So this is like, uh, I, I don't really like ceviche, but many people love it. So it is, it is a very Latin American food. Do you like ceviche, people? Yes. I love it. Yes, yes, I like it. You, you oh, love it. It's delicious. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you need to ask the pupusas too, teacher. Well, yeah, the pupusas. Yeah, that's a very Latin American dish. We need to add the pupusas here in this one. From all I the other pupusas. ones. Me too. That I think there is no Salvadorian who doesn't like pupusas. Yes. And if you don't like it, you are not from El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Get away. Yeah. <laughs> if if you don't like if you don't like pupusas, you are not from El Salvador. So let's yeah. see. Uh, have you ever tried any of these dishes? Yeah, ceviche. Uh huh. Ceviche. What yeah, other? I have, have tried ceviche. Okay, you have tried ceviche. What What else have you tried? I have tried micro. Which one? Mitra. Oh, the, okay. The one about uh, Thailand. Yeah. Okay. I haven't tried this one. I haven't tried this one. That's new for me. So I hope we can try it out one day. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> My video is working. And from China, the wonton soup. Have you tried it? No. Have you tried wonton? Yes, wonton. Yes. Yes. One time. Soup. Yes. No. In, in soup no i haven't tried them in soup but i have tried them just like that and that's very delicious and ceviche for sure that you know it. feijoada i think we have our own version right we have our version in in el salvador our version, version. <laughs> we have our version and it's very delicious and for sure what other types of traditional food from other countries have you tried Have what? you tried chuchitos from Guatemala? Chuchitos, yes. I have tried them. I have tried them. Yeah. They are they are uh, very good. Yeah. Okay. What else? I tried uh, baleadas. Have you tried baleadas? Baleadas, Gallo yes. Pinto. From Honduras. Gallo Pinto. Gallo Pinto. Well, Gallo Pinto, it's our casamiento, right? Nicaragua. <laughs> Which one? Nicaragua. Uh, it's Nicaragua. from it's from Nicaragua. It's, yes, it's, it is a to Costa Rica. Yes, and it is from Costa Rica. What other type of dishes have you tried from different countries? I have tried nacatamales. Nacatamales, from... yes, they are from Guatemala, right? Uh, Nicaragua. From Nicaragua. Okay, and we have our version of tamales as well. That it's very delicious. Let me say. Yes. It. Yes. Burritos and chicken quesadilla are from Mexican. From Mexico, and they are very. I think all the Mexican food is very delicious. Yeah, very delicious. And but yes. I it, have tried birria. From birria. I cook a very delicious birria. Tacos birria. Yeah. Birria is the. You could invite me, teacher, when you cook birria. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I will bring some tacos to the class. Yeah, my brother loves it. And every time that I go to visit my mother, he says, like, Nati, no te pido otra cosa. Hace la birria. And I'm like, okay, I will do it. It takes like four hours to cook it, mm. but, but it's very delicious. 
So uh, let me see. I, I well, I have a friend from Thailand, and I was uh, I was partner with her in the scholarship, and I try all these types of noodles and soups and things that they do, and they are very good. They are very delicious, right? I was showing her the pupusas and the Salvadorian food, and she was showing me all the Thai food, and it is very very delicious. So these are called ethnic dishes, right? Ethnic dishes that are local, something that is really, really local. And if we talk about food from El Salvador, we can talk about many different things. We have so many traditional dishes that we never finish talking about them. And don't talk about the drinks because my God, we will be here the whole night. Que el carao, que no sé qué, que la tol de no sé qué, que la tol de esto, que la tol de... We make a tol from everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we have one atoll for each occasion, <laughs> right? For each situation. And here we have, we have a short conversation here. And it says, hey, this sounds great. Or this sounds good. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? No, I haven't. Oh, they are delicious. I had them last time. Like to try some? No, thanks. They sound strange. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I will have the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I will have the fried brains. Fried brains? Now, that really sounds strange. Sesos. <laughs> it's like... Um, maybe not. <laughs> I will, I will, I won't try that one. I prefer snails. Yeah, this, well, the snails, los caracoles, I don't, I don't eat any of the two. <laughs> I prefer the, the fried brains. <laughs> the fried brains. So, snails with garlic. Would you like to try that one? Yeah. I would like <laughs> And yeah, maybe they are maybe they are good, right? And look Have at the you try the, the hutas. I love any <laughs> kind of seafood. Yeah. I like the hutas. Hutas with al yeah. 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 I I remember that I was very young. My mother actually forced me to try them because I didn't want. I said, "Mom, that's an animal. It's alive." I said, <laughs> I was this, this very eco-friendly and I didn't want to eat the animal and my mother forced me to eat it and was like, probalo. It was like, yeah, you have to probe. You have to try, you have to try. And it was like, I didn't like it. I like the alwashte, it's very delicious, but the poor animal, no, I didn't like it. But yeah, here in El Salvador, we have every single thing, right? Que cusuco, que no sé qué, que conejo, que all the different animals. Oh my God, we eat everything. So help me with the conversation. Hey, this sounds good. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? No, 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 I, no haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Oh, they're very delicious. I had them last time. Like to try some? No, no, no. 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 They 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 Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. 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 I, I have, have the nails. The nails, nails, please. Please. Okay, the nails. No, the nails are this one. Snails. 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 Right. <laughs> and there are people who Uñas, eat them. Por favor. <laughs> I can. I can. I can. Se las come. Don't worry. <laughs> mm. <they> get <laughs> I think. I think I will have the fried brains. Sometimes the fried brains. Fried brains. <laughs> now that really sounds strange. So that is like like one interaction. <laughs> On the questions, on the questions, for example, when you say, have you ever eaten? ¿Alguna vez los has probado? ¿Alguna vez los has comido? Right? Have you ever eaten snails? ¿Ya has comido caracoles? And it's just like, no. Yeah, I had them last time. Right? Yo los probé la vez pasada. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? ¿Ya se decidieron algo? Have you decided? And when you say, when you ask the other person, and you, sir, and you, lady, what are you going to have? Right? And it says like fried brains, please. 
okay, I will have the snails, please. That is a very, very common interaction in a restaurant. When you say, I will have a chicken, please. I will have a fried bananas, please. I will have beans, please, right? When you order, it is a very, it's very polite, right? Have you decided yet? Uh, have you ever eaten pupusas? Oh, for sure, you say. I have had them before, okay? And I have here other questions that you can have related to food. For example, did you skip breakfast this morning? Did you skip breakfast this morning? It's like, ¿te saltaste el desayuno esta mañana? ¿No comiste desayuno esta mañana? Or did you eat breakfast this morning? ¿Comiste desayuno esta mañana? ¿O desayunaste hoy? Right? Did you cook your own dinner? Did you cook your own dinner today, people? ¿Cocinaron su cena hoy? Yes, yes, I did. yes, teacher. Yes, I did, right? Yes, yes I, did. I did. Have you ever tried Indian food? Have you ever tried Indian food? No, no I, I didn't. No, I haven't. No, I, no, haven't. I, haven't. I haven't, right? I haven't. Have you ever eaten snails? No, I haven't. 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 In this case, when you say, have you ever, alguna vez? Have you ever, and then you are going to use the participle form. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever, uh, have you ever tried? So you use the past participle forms in the questions, right? And on your book, you have the two examples of the simple past and you have the example of the present perfect, right? Have you ever, have you been, have you traveled, right? And the simple past questions, did you buy? Did you go? Did you eat? Right? You use did as the auxiliary and the verb in the normal form. For example, did you learn anything new in the class today? Yes, I, I did learn. Yes, I did. About we did. fruits and vegetables. About fruits and vegetables and a lot of vocabulary, right? So, have you ever, um, have you ever been to another country, people? Yes, only I, only, uh, but that's another country. <laughs> have you ever been? Okay. So please, on your book, on your book, you have this little practice. Okay. And please, if you can fill it up for tomorrow, that will be perfect. So we can check it out. Okay. Si ya la pueden llenar usando la base de eh, pa present perfect and simple past that I gave you today, please work on this so we can have it ready for the class and we can check it tomorrow. Okay. I am going to call the attendance, and as soon as you listen to your beautiful name, you can leave. Okay. Le voy a pasar lista. Si escuchan su nombre hermoso, pueden irse a dormir. Okay. Okay. Let me find uh, the attendance. Let me open it. And we'll do it. Okay. Here I apologize for And I, I go. Okay. My boy. Oh, está como my dear class. But you are. We start with Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandrita. No. Angélica. Here. Cecilia teacher. Los Ángeles. Thank you. César Guadalupe. Ed Cabell. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. Here, teacher. Elvira Lorenza. Here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ever Ernesto. Here, teacher. Isabo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present. Joana Yesenia. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Karen Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nidia. Present teacher. Eh, Raúl de Jesús. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Samuel Isabel. Present teacher. Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. 
teacher. I am here, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Teacher. teacher. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Say my name. Okay, what's, what's yours? Joanna. Joanna, Joanna. Yes, I call you. Si te llame Joanna. Okay. No le escuché. <laughs> okay, but now I, I have you here. Don't worry. Ya te puse aquí presente. Jeremías, yes, right? I have Dice, Jeremías as well. Mi... Okay. Karen? Karen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Karen. <laughs> I got you. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you, Cesar. I got see your you name tomorrow, on teacher. the chat. Good have night. a wonderful good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Have a good night.